Well, hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kristen and if you're new here, this is where I come at you every week or so and share what I've been making, uh, primarily knitting. We do a lot of crochet, a lot of quilting. I dive down all the crafty rabbit holes. So if that is something that you're into, you're in a good place, gather around, grab a cup of something and let's get into it. Um, and yes, I actually was not planning on uploading a video this week because again, it's summer, I have a lot going on and I made a conscious decision to upload every other week as opposed to every week. But I finished work early today and I actually finished, kind of sort of finished working on a project that I haven't shared on the channel yet. So because I have, you know, the rest of my day is kind of a blank canvas, I thought, you know what, let's sit down, let's turn on the camera and, and hang out with you guys. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, so I hope wherever you are, you're sitting down, you have a project in hand and you're relaxing. By the way, I don't have my normal setup. We're just kind of running and gunning it this week. So we're, we're I'm flying by the seat of my pants, but, Today, I just finished sewing another quilt top and I'm so excited about it, guys. It is, seriously, this by far has to be my favorite quilt top that I've made thus far. I haven't made many, but um, I, I, t I posted about this on my Instagram feed a couple weeks ago. I was just haphazardly, randomly stash diving through my fabric, just, you know, browsing as you do. And I pulled out a combination of fabrics Liberty Fabrics, of course, you know, because, yeah. Um, and I really like the way that they played together. I had, a while back, I purchased three or four yards of Liberty Tanalon in a solid color. I think it was the stone color. So I had a lot of this fabric lying around, wasn't doing anything with it. And then recently I had purchased a couple of fat quarters from duckadilly.com. They were all like in grayscale, and I put them next to the solid and I was like, okay, yeah, I know I have a, I know I'm currently working on a quilt, but this also must become a quilt. And I dove right in um, and I did a little browsing. I searched the web and I found this really great pattern called the Night Vision Quilt by Modernly Morgan. And I, I was off, I was off to the races. And today I finished the quilt up, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I had enough fabric to make the twin size quilt, but I ended up just making the throw size quilt. But I will stand up so you can see this. Um, it's a rectangle, and this is probably the largest quilt I have ever made. Um, yeah, normally my quilts are square throws, but this one is a rectangle, and I believe it's 72 inches by 92 inches. Um, so it is quite big and I actually added a border to it um, just to kind of, you know, shore things up a little bit and make it a little more neat. And so yeah, this, I just can't get over how fun this is. And I'll hold this closer so you can see, but all of these little bits and bobs in here are Liberty fabric. If you've been with this channel for quite some time, some of these fabrics may look familiar, like this one right here, this Paisley one. This one right there, and then this fabric right here. I'll give you a minute to think about it, but yeah, if if you've um, if you've been, if you've been tuning in while I was going through my garment sewing phase, uh, while I was still back in Brooklyn uh, during the pandemic, I, I sewed a couple of garments out of Liberty fabric. Um, let me go get. Hang on, hang on a second. Anyway, so yeah, I sewed I sewed two garments out of Liberty. Tana lawn and they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, however, I've, I never, for some reason, I just never end up wearing garments that I sew. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't gravitate towards wearing them. I've come to terms with that. I'm okay with it. It's just not my thing, which is also why I just stopped sewing garments. I don't enjoy the process. You know, I mean, I like kudos to anybody who can sew beautiful garments like Jacqueline, Jacqueline Salem. I mean, I follow her on Instagram and she's just, she turns out the, the garments like nobody's business and they're absolutely stunning. It's just not for me. Um, so you were probably gonna gasp in horror, but I took these dresses. I'll pop them here on the screen. Guys, I apologize if you hear any sawing or drilling outside. We're having work done in our backyard. We're putting in a patio and there's, there's a lot of action happening back there, but Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but anyway, uh, the first garment that I sewed was a dress version of the Ogden 
Ogden Cami Camisol, and I'm of course blanking on the designer name. I'll link to all of these patterns down below, um, but it was a dress version of the Ogden Cami. And the next garment that I sewed out of Liberty Fabric was a, a skirt by one of the big five companies. And yeah, I just never ended up wearing them. And yeah, I, you know, I pulled them out of my closet and I hacked them up. Like here is the leftover remnant from the dress that I made. Yeah, I just cut all the fabric off and put them in the quilt. So yeah, this is the Paisley fabric which I absolutely am obsessed with. And yeah, it, it's such beautiful fabric and I was, you know, kicking myself because I don't wear it. Um, so here's what's left of it. I have some more scraps of that now. And here is the scraps from the skirt. So yeah, really, really happy that I finally made some real use out of them. And I'll try and find them again in the, in the quilt. So yeah, here's another one. They're just like little pops and they just go so well. And here's some Strawberry Thief fabric. Yeah, here it is again. It's just like, I love how scrappy this project is. It's, you know, even though they weren't really quote unquote scraps, I love the scrappy aesthetic of it. And I will tell you guys, it's not perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. And I, it, it makes me so incredibly happy. This is gonna be my quilt. Yeah, this is going to be Kristen's quilt and I will probably want to be buried in it. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is just so fun to put together. It came together so quickly. Highly, highly recommend the pattern. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there were a lot of little bits and bobs, a lot of, a lot of piecing involved in this. So kind of glad that I stopped at the, um, at the throw size because I was, you know, towards the end, I was getting a little... A little tired of it but I know the finished product will be everything and everything I don't know whatever I'm just so happy um so yeah the the quilt top is done however I am thinking about adding a wider border I did purchase as you do I purchased more fabric from Duckadilly enough to put a border on so I don't know I'm now that I'm it's here and I'm looking at it what do you guys think should I add the border or just leave it as is and put like a, a contrasting binding on it and call it a day. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Add a border or no border. Yeah, so that's still TBD, but this fabric is also really beautiful. This, I mean, it's also incorporated in the quilt. There are little um, sections in there made up of this. And I don't know how well you can tell, but there, this is metallic. So these little gray spots right here have a little shimmer to them. And yeah, it's just so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, yeah. So anyway, that is my quilt. That is my night vision quilt. Again, a really wonderful pattern by Modernly Morgan. Again, links all down below. So what else do I want to say about this? Um, I did order some batting for it and I follow uh, Kate from The Last Homely House and she is an avid quilter of Liberty Fabrics. Like she, she's always using Liberty Fabrics and she recommends using kind of like a bamboo silk blend type of batting. Wow, and it just got really dark in here, guys. It's, it's, it's the end of the day and the light is just kind of going in and out, so I apologize. But, um, you know, again, this is a very impromptu video. I've heard Kate say that she likes to use a bamboo slash silk blend type of batting with her Liberty fabrics, just because Liberty Tan Alone is a lot thinner than your average quilting cotton. It's almost, it's very, very lightweight. Um, so I can understand how the silk and bamboo blend would lend really nicely to this type of fabric or this type of quilt. So I ordered some of that, that's gonna come. And then I'm thinking about using some like 100% linen or a cotton linen blend for the back. Because when it comes to linen, the more you wash it, the more it softens. So I think that'll just be a really nice, a really nice touch to this quilt. Needless to say, this is probably going to be a very luxurious quilt and I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it in the least. And um, so yeah, what else do I wanna say? Um, as far as other quilts go, the, the other quilt tops that I mentioned in my last episode, those have all gone out. They're out at Missouri Star Quilt being, being quilted uh, by a long armor. So those should be returning to me pretty soon. I did put a <laughs> rush order on them just because the last quilt that I sent to them, the Peacock Quilt, that took over like 12 weeks for them to ship it back. So 
I think it's like $25 for a two week turnaround uh, for two quilts. So, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, how often do I send out a quilt to be quilted? I may as well just do the two week turnaround. So hopefully those should be back to me in the near future. I'm very excited about those. Um, but that said, um, I don't, you know, I do eventually want to get in the habit of quilting my own quilts. Um, I mean, granted, I, I Clearly, I do not have room for a long arm. That's just seriously not in the cards <laughs> at all in the near future. I mean, how great, how great would it be to have a she shed in the backyard with a long armor? That would be wonderful. But yeah, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, but, but I have decided that it might just be time to upgrade my sewing machine. So I have started looking for a machine. I, I am looking at Janome's. As you probably know, I have a Janome 2212. It's a great machine. I love this machine. I, you know, it was one of my, it was my first sewing machine. I purchased it on a whim from Amazon for like $200. I've had it for like five, six years now. Still, you know, it, it's, it's a little workhorse. It's great. I'm looking at it over there. Um, yeah, so it served me well for so long, but the more I'm quilting, the more I'm realizing it's limitations. Um, you know, obviously I can't freeform quilt with it. It's much too small. I mean, I can, but for the size quilts that I want to make, you know, it, it's, I, I'm constantly fighting with it. So I definitely want to upgrade to a machine that's a little larger uh, and has more horsepower, if you will, and just as a straight stitch. So. Um, I went to my LYS, they actually deal in Janome machines, so I had a little talk with the shop owner and, you know, gave me some tips, I picked her brain, it was great, so, you know, she gave me some, definitely gave me some great food for thought. Um, so yeah, I'm, you know, in the process of saving my shekels and hopefully in the near future I will have a new upgraded machine, so yay, very, very exciting. So yeah, that is... My latest quilt top that I finished. I have to stand up to, to fold this back up, so I will do that after I'm done shooting. Um, so that's what's happening with the quilt front. I, re I really do want to just dive right in after I'm done recording this with another quilt project, except I have no idea what that even is. So, you know, I, again, I have to kind of slow my roll a little bit, but I also want to show you another project that I cast on. It's another crochet project. I know, I know my friends. I. I have no self-control. I mean, can you blame me? But um, I was actually kind of, it was, it was late one night and I was itching for just something simple to cast on and go. I was looking for a simple crochet project that didn't require much brain power. So I actually pulled out, where is it? You might remember these. <laughs> yeah, remember these guys? Uh, these are Blossom Cakes by Karen. I picked these up at Michael's. Picked up about maybe like four skeins of them because they were, they were on sale and yeah, so they came home with me and I cast on, this is like when I first started getting into crochet several months ago and yeah, I cast on a blanket. It really wasn't sticking. So I kind of let it fall to the wayside and these have kind of been sitting in my yarn fortress over there. I keep pointing over there to things that you guys can't see. Um, but trust me, there is a cabinet over there that houses all of my yarn aside from this guy right here. Um, so yeah, they've, they've been hanging out in my other yarn fortress and not collecting dust. Um, but yeah, I sat down one night and I browsed Ravelry and I stumbled on this pattern in my Ravelry queue. It's been there for quite some time. It's the Victorian Lattice Crochet Square. I don't know. I will pop it in the down bar, but it's, yeah, it's a free pattern. And I looked at it and I looked at the Karen cake and I was like, I mean, let's do this. Let's do this. And yeah, we got a pile of grannies guys. I cannot put this down. Um, I think I'm 15 squares in and I, there's no stopping me guys. These are so incredible. Um, and I really love the fact that, you know, when it comes to crocheting granny squares, the thing that really burns me out typically is having to change colors all the time. Uh, but with this yarn, it just does all the work for me. I, there's no color changes. It's, I, I just love the variegation in it. And it just, yeah. Oh, this is so happy, guys. I believe these are 10 inch squares. I have to take out my measuring tape and confirm that later. But um, yeah, these are very large squares. And I think I need a hundred of these. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm very ambitious, guys. If I want to make a king size bedspread for our bed, I will need a hundred of these squares. So I I hopped back onto Michaels.com. They had a 40% coupon, and I just ordered eight eight more of these cakes. So yeah, I've got my work cut out for me, but these have just been so fun. Like I, I took it to the beach. I've been taking it to knitting meetups with friends. I've been working on these, just hanging out at home, watching movies, TV with Dennis. Um, I don't have the pattern completely memorized yet. Uh, let me let me go get the pattern so you can see. I should mention again that this pattern is free so I can show it to you on, on camera, but um, yeah, it's, it's a very well-written pattern, but what I really love about this pattern is that it comes with a chart. Granted, granted, the chart... <laughs> kind of looks like a child drew it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I will say it's very useful. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that it's color coded. Um, but yeah, I've just been using this and yeah, I, it's come in handy. And I will say, I almost have it memorized. Um, there are a couple rows where I have to, I think one or two rows where I still have to look at it and make sure that I'm not making a mistake. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a really wonderful, super easy pattern. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's only single crochet and double crochet stitches in there. It's, it's wonderful. So, you know, if you have been thinking about casting it on, highly, highly recommend it. And as for a hook, I've been using uh, this, this Tulip uh, size seven, four millimeter hook. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really great. And you can kind of, you can see another square hanging out on my granny square blocker up there. So anyway, yeah, I, I am intending to block each square before grafting them together. And to graft them together, because I know I'm gonna get asked questions, um, I'm going to be using the technique used in the Battenberg blanket, which I know is another project that I have to finish. Um, the yarn for this project kind of reminds me of that one, just like it's in the same color family um, and it's variegated yarn, but anyway, that, I, I'm, I'm digressing. Um, but yeah, overall, just a really great pattern. I've thoroughly been enjoying it and yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so, okay guys, uh, that I think is the show for this week. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you're new, again, if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe down below. I'm putting out videos for your viewing pleasure on a regular basis and, and, and yeah. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen. And if you're new here, this is my cat, Bella, who desperately wants to get out of my arms. Love you.